I just asked Eric about the impact in NASCAR when the US F1 team concept was announced. What was it like on the Formula One side with Renault when somebody said there's going to be an American Formula One team based in Charlotte, North Carolina? Well, I think everyone was, everyone's excited. They're all very supportive of it. Um, I know I always had a lot of uh, support even from the team managers and the guys back at uh, Renault. Um, I don't think it was too much of a surprise with Windshear over here because we uh, we were actually, I think I can say it now, we're working at Windshear and that's how I came over here. Cat's out of the bag now, yep. Yeah. So, uh, um, so it wasn't really too much of a surprise after seeing that mm -hmm. to see this follow on and it's uh, right behind it. Mm -hmm. Here's the really important question. Have you found a pub in Charlotte? Actually, I, I met a lovely uh, person yesterday who's informed me that there's a great English pub down on the east side. So I'll be going out there this weekend to find out. Excellent. Good luck. Let us know if it's any good. Thank you. Now, how did you train? How did you come to be involved with USF1, Phil? Well, I met Ken a few years ago. I was running a company called Morse Measurements, uh, which is a service provider for chassis and suspension testing just up the road from here. And uh, we hit it off, and he let me in on his secret, which was his project. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was bowled over. I thought, wow, you're really doing this? <laughs> and he said, yeah. And uh, lucky enough to become a part of it. Tell me how, I mean, with all of these different workstations around the room, how do you divide up the responsibilities for the different aero projects? Well, we're not really segmented. We're pretty small, so everybody's really communicating pretty openly. I mean, roughly speaking, we have a design area, an aerodynamics area, a performance engineering area, which is where I'm sitting right now, and composites and, and materials design. Uh, but everybody is, is kind of... Uh, communicating with each other pretty pretty easily. So it's uh, small enough right now that we don't have that much uh, communication difficulty. Even working through all the different nationalities that are a part of this team, I believe there's at least a dozen different countries represented in USF1 thus far? Hey, so far so good. I think we're all friends. <laughs> Has this always been a dream of yours to be involved with Formula One? It's really strange. I was just telling this story just a few days ago. I, I was digging through some old paperwork uh, from as early as high school, and uh, I had some notes that I made to myself for how to write a resume. You know, like, oh, I'll need references and I'll need some sort of job objective. And I'd scribble down probably my junior year in high school that the only reason I wanted to become an engineer was to one day work on a Formula One team. Here I am. Well, let me ask you the same question I'm asking everybody else then. When that car fires up and rolls out onto the track, what's that moment going to be like for you? Uh, if my heart doesn't stop, it'll be the greatest thing I've ever experienced. That's hope so. For all of us as well. Thanks very much. Thanks. Garrett, how'd you get involved with USF1? Uh, well, I heard about it about a year ago when rumors started flying. And I said, oh, well, if they're serious, they'll have an ad in Autosport. So yeah. when they when they put one in, I applied and, and I had some friends here and I think they put in a good work for me and then they, then they hired me. So <laughs> that made me really happy. Was this a, a dream of yours as well to be involved in Formula One? Yeah, I think since about I was 12 years old, I wanted to grow up and design race cars. And I, I went to England and, and tried to get a job there, but that didn't work out right after college. So I came back here and I've been working for uh, Panos and and uh, Riley Technologies. And then, then this came right up and I didn't even have to move to go. <laughs> so that was good. Well, this operation, having started from scratch, and I don't think there's another Formula One team out there that's been started from scratch in decades. Knowing all you did about the sport and what the McLaren Technology Center looks like and the halls in Maranello and all that sort of thing, I mean, the first time you took a look at the facility that would house USF1, what'd you think? Uh, it was a bit Spartan, I guess, but uh, I know there's a lot of people here and, and uh, it'll get filled up really quickly, I think, in the next couple months. How about the experience of actually working as an engineer in Formula One? Is it everything you thought it would be or different in some way? Uh, kind of hectic. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's fun to uh, do something different every day. And it's good to be with a, uh, a small team, I guess, so you're not stuck designing just front upper wishbones or something. You, you get done with one part <laughs> one day and do something completely different the next, so, so I kind of like it.